Hi, this is Abhinav Bharti, and welcome to another episode of TFI and Newsroom. And today we have with us uh, Galam Kayo. You are product manager of IoT and mobile at Canonical. If I said it right, uh, welcome to the show. Uh, thank you, thank you, Swapnil. Happy to be here. Happy to join the show. Awesome. Uh, let's talk about today's announcement. It's Anbox Cloud. So first of all, I want to understand. What is this platform all about? Then we'll go into what problem you're trying to solve and how users can yeah. use it. So just, just walk us through what it is. Yeah, so in a nutshell, Nbox Cloud is a mobile com cloud computing platform uh, that virtualizes mobile workloads on, on the cloud using Android as a guest operating system. Uh, in other words, it's a platform for running Android at scale in the cloud. And uh, there, there are many, many use cases to that that we'll have the occasion to discuss um, in this session. Perfect. I'll move to use cases and all those things later on. I want to understand the, the, the core technological component of, uh, uh, you know, Nbox Cloud. And what is the story behind the name? What does the name name mean? <laughs> uh, well, so the name uh, we wanted to, for the naming, we wanted to evoke uh, Android and the containerization and, and cloud. So these are the key ideas of, of, of the product. So we're trying to uh, create a name that uh, will evoke uh, all these different aspects of Android and containerization and, and, and cloud. And it's uh, really um, a composition that is built on key canonical technologies, um, starting uh, with uh, LexD. LexD, which is really keystone uh, of Onebox Cloud. Uh, LexD is the system container uh, manager uh, that, that uh, can virtualize a workload using uh, a system container, Linux containers. Uh, the, the consequence of that technology is that uh, the containers or virtual machines are much uh, lightweight because they have a lower overweight because they share they share the, the, the Linux kernel. So this is another advantage. It gives a visualization the same way a, a hypervisor will virtualize, but much more lightweight. And these uh, containers, these system containers, uh, are very susceptible susceptible to be uh, managed because they ex ex expose a REST API. Uh, which makes it, uh, it uh, easy to build a uh, very scalable and easy to automate solution um, on top of uh, of this technology. So this is the first element. The second element is uh, Juju that uh, allows to orchestrate all the, the software bits, the, the, the services that will make uh, an Unbox Cloud. Uh, that, that's the, 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 the second uh, important element. So Nbox Cloud can be run on any cloud, a public cloud or private uh, cloud uh, uh, on-premise, etc. So we also leverage mass metal as, as a service, which is one of our key products also, in order to automate uh, infrastructure deployment of this solution, make it, making it very easy to be de deployed uh, anywhere. And then also, since we're targeting enterprise commercial use cases, we've also bundled uh, our Ubuntu uh, advantage for infrastructure offering into, into Nbox. It comes included with uh, Ubuntu advantage for, for infrastructure and uh, extended security maintenance. So the, the Linux kernel will be patched uh, frequently and uh, updates uh, will, will be pushed uh, regular, regularly, which is one uh, of our key key com competencies, uh, canonical supporting uh, really business critical uh, application that way on the cloud. So these are the key technology or key uh, products underlying the Nbox Cloud uh, offering. So you're leveraging a lot of existing canonical and Ubuntu technologies uh, for Nbox, right. great. Uh, <clears throat> If you look at Canonical, uh, initially it started as you know a Linux vendor. You know Ubuntu became you know and yes. it changed the landscape. Then you know uh, you guys got into uh, you know cloud uh, and yes. edge and mobile in some degrees. Uh, though yeah. you pulled out of mobile from commercial uh, consumer mobile. So I'm curious because you said you you you, cover, you know you look uh, after IoT and mobile space. So I'm just curious to understand from your perspective. When you talk about IoT and mobile, right. what are you looking at? 
because if you look at this solution, it seems like this one is targeted at Android, but iOS yes. itself is a big you know player in this space. So I I just want to understand from your perspective, like the kind of solution you're building there in this space. What are you looking at? Yes, it does. It does. What are we looking at? We we're looking at the same thing we've always been looking at, which is empowering really innovators. This is the the goal that we always have in sight. Now the, the environment the environment changes and technology changes, but we keep that uh, goal in in sight. And uh, today, mobile the mobile domain is emerging. Uh, as one that uh, demands innovation. Consumer people are demanding uh, digital experiences in every uh, part of their, their lives. And there, there's an existing bottleneck, which is the, 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 the compute capability. Because mobile is complex, you know, it has to work in, you know, complex situation, complex environment. Form factors have to match the situation and then there's the pro problem of energy uh, efficiency, et cetera, et cetera. Now uh, we figured uh, that there's this need, but there's also a window of opportunity to solve these needs with uh, 5G emerging. So there are new technologies emerging and having our goal in mind to accelerate innovation, we figured we had the tools to build a platform that would enable innovators to now be able to deploy transformative uh, applications in the mobile segment. This is how we, we came to, to build uh, Nbox. So uh, in a nutshell, we always have that goal in mind to help innovation, to help accelerate innovation. And with Nbox, we came, came to be because we've identified the opportunity to develop a platform that will boost innovation in the mobile segment because there's a demand for new things there. Right, excellent. Now I, I want to talk about this Nbox a bit from, you, you didn't just explain the, the core components. Now, when you talk about containerizing applications, so what kind of application are we talking about? Are we talking about the, the mobile applications or we are talking about, you know, the traditional enterprise applications that can, I just want to understand, you know, what are you trying to do here? Like uh, the traditional um, applications and you containerize so it can be used on mobile platform or you're using mobile platform just to help them controlize and bring them to cloud. I just want to understand uh, where these applications are coming from, what kind of applications are that, and how they are consumed on what platforms. So what terms of, of application we are talking, we are, we are targeting a high performance application, uh, compute intensive, you know, energy intensive, uh, memory intensive, that can not run on any device. As of so you're today. talking about these traditional applications, not, not new applications that people are writing. So traditional and also new new emerging okay. application will be able to be uh, mm -hmm. distributed through a train box. So the, the idea is that with Nbox, you will have surrogate devices in the cloud, you know, that will be sized to the needs of the of the workloads, and that will run uh, these workloads on behalf of a constraint device and the output will just be streamed on this device, meaning anyone now has the power to run virtually an, a, a very wide range of application. It opens, opens up the door to run many, many more applications on any type of device. And talking about iOS now with Nblocks, uh, I just want to mention that it becomes possible for a guy with an iPhone to access to, to, to run uh, Android applications in the cloud and stream it on his mobile, for instance. So it opens up this kind of possibilities. So from the client end, it's not restricted to Android. Uh, no. It's no. platform agnostic. Okay. Okay. Yeah, it's platform uh, agnostic. Yeah. And when we look at these applications, when you containerize them, do uh, the developers uh, of that application, they have to refactor the applications or Canonical handles all this refactoring or there's no refactoring involved, you just you know wrap it on? None whatsoever. It's Android as it will run on a, a real device. You will, you will put your APK, you push your APK in the repository and Nbox will take care on running it in virtual machines as is, no, 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 nothing more. Right. It's and what are, the, what are the use cases that you're looking at with this uh, platform? So the, the, the use cases, uh, the top use cases of Inbox Cloud are really uh, mobile cloud gaming, 
uh, enterprise workplace uh, applications, uh, mobile device virtualization in the telco context, and uh, mobile app uh, development testing right, at, at scale. Uh, so there are many more uh, use cases that we're seeing, but this, this is all the key one that will probably make 80% of the use cases of open box. So, so for cloud gaming, we, we all seeing uh, with Google launch, launching Stadia and there are various uh, uh, startups that are now uh, thinking of uh, streaming uh, games, providing a, a Netflix-like experience in, in the in-game delivery. So Unbox will facilitate uh, this trend because, well, Android is probably the biggest uh, gaming platform in the world. And if you ha having it in the cloud will give uh, gamers access to a wide library of, of, of game games that can be streamed on any device. So this is the, the first use case. The second use case is uh, enterprise work workplace application. So Unbox Cloud really gives um, enterprises uh, undergoing uh, digital transformation, a cost-effective way to do that digital transformation without the need to invite investing in acquiring a fleet of device and maintaining a fleet of device. Your workers will just bring their own device and you'll be able to distribute uh, applications at scale very effectively from one central place. There will be other benefits like security, compliance, privacy, et cetera, which are, which are uh, great. Yeah, it, all in all, it will just accelerate, help accelerate digital transformation. So uh, uh, in the telco space, we see that uh, telco use, uh, consumers uh, are demanding for new experiences, new digital experiences. We all still using our, our smartphones or mobile phones the same way. We've been using our smartphones the same way for over a decade. And they're, they're yearning for new experiences and Nbox will be a vehicle for new digital experiences in the telco sector, especially with the, the, the emergence of 5G. Okay, 5G, it will give the, the, the opportunity to telco to de develop, to, to launch value added uh, services uh, based on, on, on 5G. So think uh, of having uh, the ability to spin uh, multiple, fo multiple phones from one, just one device in the cloud with multiple numbers or the ability to turn your, 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 your phone into a gaming console. Or also you can even think uh, broader than this, think uh, new form, uh, mobile form factors like uh, AR, VR, that will be able to you know, leverage Android. These, these, are, these, these form factors run Android. So they will be able to run Android in a 5G con context uh, from the cloud through and box. So this is one use case. And for uh, app testing, I think app testing was the first use case for running Android in the cloud. Uh, because well, mobile app development, it gives the ability to test uh, at scale, at a, a scale much uh, bigger than it's possible on physical, uh, physical devices. And it's possible, it makes it possible to integrate uh, large scale testing of mobile application into a CI CG pipeline, uh, testing different scenarios, et cetera, et cetera. So these are the four, four, four key uh, use cases that we're seeing, and, and there could be more. Right. And Nbox, you know, are you looking at public cloud or private cloud or on prem? Where can it run? Anywhere. So, uh, we, we t we're talking to public clouds also, who wants to, to give the option to run Android in the cloud uh, to, to their customers. We're also talking to a private uh, organization that want to run it at the edge or within uh, on-premise. And for that, we're partnering with, with Packet, which is a, a hybrid uh, cloud computing com uh, company uh, for to, that gives us the ability to really uh, deploy, uh, help deploy the, that solution anywhere in any context. So it, it, we, we're talking to anybody, there's no restriction. Excellent. Um, what is what is the, the pricing model look like and who are you targeting as the, the e users for this uh, Nbox cloud? So the, we, we're targeting innovators, whether enterprises that want to do uh, new things Okay, that wants to innovate or startups even. 
in the pricing of, of Anbox is per node. We price per node and there's, there's a possibility for uh, volume uh, pricing, variable pricing. So uh, the advantage uh, of Endbox is that it, it gives high, very high container density, uh, 2x density at the minimum compared to virtualizing uh, Android through uh, a, a virtual machine running on a hypervisor, so the classical way. So there are really gains, which means it makes it very, very, uh, very economical. And in the pricing, in the single pricing, the support and maintenance is also included through Ubuntu to advantage for financial future. So overall, it's a very uh, attractive pricing that is uh, attractive even for, for startups. We have a couple of startups in the pipeline. And the, the more it scales, the more attractive it becomes. And what gives it this uh, possibility to scale because higher density, 2x density uh, gains compared to the normal way of doing things, which means you, you will have more containers to spread your cost on and more, more, you know, more benefits, more, more, more profits. So uh, overall, the, the, the commercial offering is very attractive, uh, bundled uh, per node, and uh, open to anybody, accessible to anybody. Golem, uh, thank you so much for explaining Nbox. I, I'm still curious what are the names we could find for this, but uh, uh, I, uh, I, I'm looking forward to talking to you again to see, uh, you know, the adoption of because it's you know you have just announced it. Uh, I would like to you know touch base again just to understand the adoption and how industries you know kind of embracing this. Once again, thank you. Uh, thank you, Sopnil.